Hello again guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have a new unboxing video today. This is the G8 Big One which I bought from Shopee. I'll just post the product on the description. So first impressions, the packaging was secured and the build material is hard plastic. This is the main body, it has a side charging handle on the right side and the hand guard which is, has a cool design, left and right side railing, full top railing which you, can, which you can put scopes, it has a silencer, so just attach to the barrel and these iron sights which are not your typical iron sights. ACOG scope which do have a lens but no crosshair the laser as always just remove the white strip and you're good to go it's a red laser then the foregrip which, which is adjustable And the magazine which has a compartment, pellet compartment, you just open the the hatch, then when once it's full, slide down the spring, then the belts will just fill on its own. So we do a downward movement. Just complete this build first and afterwards we can do a shooting test in this part it was too bad that I that I already encountered a problem which is the the handguard is kind of loose loosely connected to the main body so i think it can be fixed maybe it's just a screw issue and also i'd like to mention this iron sight which is weird i think it's not your typical iron sight since it, the real ones doesn't look like that so you just really toys Attaching the silencer, it may be your final difficulty, but you just you just need to really push it. Now the build is complete. This is how it looks. It is very satisfying. So I'll just show you the side charging handle. It is metal. The mag ejector button on the right side and these are the parts that are dummy or not working so for example the fire selector is not working and the stock can't be removed so so that's it so shooting test first is accuracy test
as you can see, there are three outliers or outside the 10 and 9 region. So we hit three tens and uh, I think eight, I think three eights also. So the accuracy is good. So in this part, I shot plastic off targets without using the iron sights. The gun is still accurate without them. damage you can do to our cardboard single layer cardboard I think the FPS is about 180 to 200 and you can see how much damage it did so it really uh, kind of penetrated almost penetrated the cardboard you can see the pellets still inside the cardboard so this tells you a lot about the power of this pellet gun charging handle is located on the right side and it is a um, metal or fixed with a metal and the mag ejector button is located on the right side as you can see there the magazine drops quickly as soon as you click the button so this is how you do it This is the magazine guys, it has a pellet release button beside it. So this is the hatch of the pellet compartment of the magazine. I'll just explain later why it is a problem for me. So originally you would put pellets there and you will just pull back on the spring and will do like a downward movement. And the magazine can hold I think. 10 pellets maximum so this is how the iron sights would look and how it would look when we put the ACOG scope so first of all it's very realistic as you can see the handguard um, I think it's almost the same as the real gun it was pasted into and the attachments just made it so real and also the uh, 
dummy parts the fire selector you have there and other um, and other parts that I can't really name since I'm not an expert and also I like the design of the silencer it's, it is like a spiral design and the railings too so you can put extra attachments in there but except for the charging handle it's on the side which I think m 4 it's usually in the rear and the foregrip also makes it look cooler and I just wish the magazine was a bit longer so it can hold more pellets the build quality is uh, great also as it is hard plastic The final review all I can say is that there are more uh, issues here in this gun so let's talk about the uh, what I like about this gun so of course it's very lightweight the piston or the spring um, didn't really matter as you can still carry it without a problem and also the realistic design just looks like a real M4 and the charging handle which is attached to a metal makes it more easy to to, re, to charge it since it's located on the right side instead of the rear and the metal part makes it more uh, durable so it won't break easily and of course it's accurate just without the iron sights And last but not least, the very powerful 200 FPS, which would surely damage steel cans or just cardboards. And we finally got to talk about the issues of this gun. So, first is what I showed earlier, which is the uh, loose handguard. And this one. A very weird iron sight which I think it's basically just a toy iron sight and as many other pellet guns it jumps occasionally on the magazine the problem here is that the hatch is loose so when you load it the, it suddenly opens and then spills the pellets for the parts it has so many dummies which I think they should added the fire selector this is what I mentioned earlier, again, the magazine is too short, you can fire only a small number of pellets or BBs. So yeah, um, that was the problems I encountered with this gun, but I think let's try to be positive, and, um, but I didn't if I said that there are many problems, I didn't mean that this gun is already unplayable. In truth, this gun is still playable. You can even use it as a DMR or a designated marksman rifle. You can put real scopes there and you can shoot targets for about 30 to 40 meters. So actually this was one of my dream guns which I originally saw from YouTube and yeah. I recommend this one to you so yeah this gun is a beast and very powerful M4 G881